Hello everybody and welcome back to Detroit. So, start of the game, saw this delivery and extras. This is the extra section. I can see that. As you play, you'll unlock all kinds of content that you can find here. Ooh. Wait. Item cost? Oh, so the points you get count as currency. Oh well I just bought. Is this Detroit? This place looks no, this picture doesn't look that nice. Huh. That was the first mission, the crime scene. Yep. Oh, there's Connor. Oh fuck, right. Let's start the game, I think. If my gut is right, which it never is. Somebody might have come back to life. Even though they're an android. Can androids technically die? You could probably destroy their computer chip. I'm trying to move this mic without making sound. Does this make sound if I move it? Doesn't look like it. Detroit rules. So that was... I live in a house with Lions fans. I think I know if that was the Lions or not. There's a coin flip. There's the right number. There's the tie adjusting. No androids allowed. Or dogs. Okay, time to go in. Maybe I'm in person in disguise. Hi, everybody! Connor! Find Lieutenant Anderson. Do you remember me? Was, was Lieutenant Anderson the person that was with me? Scanned faces? Ooh. Edward Dempsey? <laughs> That's so weird this game's in the future, because that guy was born, like, a couple years before me. And look how old he is. Ugh. 20 years from now, I'll be like 40. Damn. Derek Myers. Do I have to scan everyone's face? What are you looking at, bartender? Jimmy Peterson? 2001. That's younger than me. Damn. And you're bartending? What about you? Christopher Gray. Alright. You. What's your name? Jonah Graham. Nice to meet you. How about you, Mr. Old Fox? Hank Anderson. Okay, it's not the same guy. Police lieutenant. Oh, hey. Hey. Who are you? I must scan everyone's face. You know if I found my guy. Kim Johan. Del delivery driver. Currently unemployed. Oh man, sorry for you. You ever Uber? DoorDash? Those are things. Are they things anymore in this year? Who knows? Excuse me, Mr. Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. This is a loyal robot. You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. You look like you do. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Man, I risked so my life for a little, little girl. Get the fuck out of here. Persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, he's tense. Is that an actor? I'm gonna threaten him. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. Uh oh, it's going down again. Is that an actor? He looks familiar. Fine. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. I keep fucking up with Connor. I really gotta stop. Hey! Wonders of technology. Make it a double. I didn't say a double. Who is this guy? What is his name? I think he was in Punisher. 
or Daredevil, the Netflix show. Did you say homicide? The butcher. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. You should have seen it already. It's an amazing show. What's his name? Nice music, man. You almost hit that lady. You wait here. Yeah, I'm not going to. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen. I don't give a Neutral. Fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Hank, why you gotta be so mean? Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. I'm coming. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? Yes, I can. I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. Hank! It's with me. Thanks, Hank. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? The part where you said stay in the car. Order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even what if I touch the floor with my feet? We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. So I want to switch the camera. Hmm. I'm stuck. I can't go up. Hank. Okay, there we go. Hey, what did I say? Carlos. Why can't I move right? Damn, I was getting to it. Oh. Damn. According to the neighbors, he was Gross. kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, I'll stay easy. It wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle Damn. of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I'm guessing it's the android. Well, I, I it's definitely becoming self-aware. I should get out of here. I'll be outside if you need me. Hank, this don't look good. I'm still holding L1 because I don't know if I... Okay. Investigate the crime scene. Review evidence. Can I ask Hank about what he thinks? Hello, sir. How are you going? Letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Just as I was thinking. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I'll analyze it first. No fingerprints. Must have been an android. That where they wear gloves. Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I'm that I good. Check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. I was just kidding. That's kind of my fetish. Oh, fucking hell. I can't believe this shit. All right, it is Carlos's blood. 19 days. Yep, about three weeks. Took me that long to do that math. No. I would say so. We're Walk this way. For analysis. I already got it. Don't worry about it. 19 days for dried blood from Carlos. Examine the victim. Oh yeah, Red I should ice. do that. Seems our friend Carlos. Red like ice. Blood. That sounds familiar. I want full analysis on the narcotics. Todd, he's behind this. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Right, let me check out the words. It's way too nice for any humans to write. Regular letters, front Cyberlife Sans. Is that the font? Okay. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Hello, Carlos. How you doing, pal? You have something Oh, that's a lot of stabs. Twenty-eight knife wounds. Deceased more than nineteen days, yep, I keep hearing that. Uh can I check your belly button? No. What's this? Red ice. 
seen that before. Deceased. 286 pounds. Nice man. Alright, uh, is that the same one? Yes, it is. Uh, what's to the left? I want to try and go fast. Oh, your hand. Last time I wasted too much time doing nothing. Oh, well, that's how I didn't read it. Criminal record theft and aggravated assault. Alright. Reconstruct. What happened to you, Carlos? Oh, forward. He tripped on a bottle. Or nope, he was dying here. Victim fell. Alright, can I go any farther? That's where he got stabbed first, I'm guessing. Alright, push through the door. Alright, so he pushed him, he stabbed him there, he fell over, and there he goes. Oof, oh my god. Okay, I've seen enough. Thanks for the info, Carlos. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Maybe Carlos ate his lunch. Yeah. Alright, more evidence. Uh, let's finish out this room. Excuse me, sir. Red ice. Yep, I know all about that. Thanks, Todd. Alright, anything else in here? Some stuff back there. Don't. Nope, this is the end of the room. Okay. Let's go towards the kitchen. Alright, check it up. Oh, check out this cabinet. Lots of stuff. Good to know. Hello, sir. Who are you outside? My name is Connor. I'm an android. Nice suit. Can I have one of those? Thank you. Getting in my way. I'm trying to talk, man. Examine the coffee cup. Nope. Piece of paper. Eden Club. Come visit us. Sounds like a place I don't want to go to. Oh, CSI, huh? Don't know what that stands for. Must be something important. What is this? Blood. Alright. Anything? Yep. Oh. Let me guess. More blood. I'm that good. What's keeping the car? We should have been here in half hour. Chair. Okay. Signs of a struggle, just by judging from where the fingerprints are, I'm guessing. How'd you solve that, Connor? Read. Ooh, gossips weekly. <laughs> I was right. In the first episode I said I bet people use those for sex. It was gonna sound very perverted. How many of those people would use androids as sex dolls? Like, realistically. Oh, man. Page one. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. 68% of men prefer... Oh, my God. And 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once. Damn, that's a lot more than I thought. I should stop reading this. Uh, there are a few reasons given for this uh, preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. <laughs> the story was... Oh, man. All right, what's next? Nope. Are those the only two pages? Okay. Oh, that was uh, inspiring. There's a window. Why am I looking at this? Ooh, a knife is missing. Alright, only two more. Another window. Is that a baseball bat? Yep. We'll look over here. Yep, Carlos's fingerprints. Alright, there's a dent. Did Carlos use this or did the android? Well, Carlos had it. 
DV and took a knife. So wait, did Carlos attack it first? Defense was attacked, emotional shock. But why did Carlos strike first? So Deviant took a knife. Boom! Alright. Uh, there's one more thing I can investigate. Is there? Or is there two? No, that's just the magazine. What's over here? Is this just from me outside? Alright, anything useful out here? Analyze. Footprints. Uh, Alright, it's a model. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. So, Deviant didn't escape this way? Then how did it escape? Did it go through a window? Did it climb up the house like a spider monkey? Oh, that's not the last evidence? What am I missing? Am I missing something with the magazine? Maybe I should read about the spying. Oh, maybe he read this. Alright, I'm just gonna skip right through it. Nope, that's everything. Did that count as evidence? Oh boy. I want this last bit. I need it. Oh. Is there something in here? Aha! A shower curtain. Damn it. I keep trying to look up at it and it like starts to trigger the motion. What is going on in here? Rag? R19? Is that what it? Oh, hello. Uh, religious. What kind of religion is this? Hank? I'm scared. Alright, 10 out of 10. Report to Hank. I will. Oh, Hank, uh, I have solved the crime. Santa Claus did it. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. Yeah, it seems like you're doing your job. Uh, in the kitchen? In the kitchen. I mean, I don't know why I would start in the bathroom. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. And the deviant grabbed the knife. The android stabbed the victim. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself. Right. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. I would love to see the scenario if you just picked all the wrong options. Oh, Hank, watch yourself. There's a hologram android on the loose. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. So, the android murdered the victim. Uh, with the knife. Without a weapon, as you can see by the body. <laughs> with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. Damn. It doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. I don't know what that is either. You call it blue blood. Ah. It's the fluid that powers Android's biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, I don't have a naked eye. You can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. 
Alright. I'm impressing Hank. So here's my theory. The android got a taste for blood. It somehow unlocked like more emotions or something and it is like now self-aware of everything. It's not controlled by anyone. It's somehow alive. Okay, follow the traces. Did it go through the... Was this before or after it killed the victim? Oh, there's two different ways. Into the bathroom it is. Yeah, it started over there. He came back this way. Examine. Something here? A ladder was used. Let me open this. Oh my god. It scared the shit out of me. Look. Uh huh. Traces. Oh shit, is it in the house? Uh, Hank, it might be in the house. That's fucking frightening. Uh, can I grab the chair? Yep. I'll take this. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. I'll be right back. Just don't mind me. <laughs> Gotta check something. Yeah, Hank, you want to come with me? I don't know if you can get up here at your age, but you could try. Hello? Huh. Well, let's go, Connor. Am I in stealth mode? Is there an android up here? Uh, I think that's a, just a mannequin. He tricked me. He almost got me. Hardy har har. Oh, please don't pop up and make me shit my pants. Hello? Deviant? Found him! Yeah, keep going. Don't call for backup or anything, Connor. You can handle this like you handled the other guy. Daniel was his name? The one who shot you in the back like three times and left you for dead? Even though he was falling as he shot you? Friend? I could be your friend. Do you want to come and play with me? Bye. Make the choice. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on. That blood. <laughs> it just looks like he took chocolate. I'm like, Ugh. whew. I thought I was gonna have to like make the choice. Oh my god. Damn. I thought I was gonna have like a lot left. Look at that. All right, that's the beginning where I offered him a drink. Did I miss checking something? Hmm. I guess so. That could have led to more things and a completely... Maybe a completely different ending. Huh. Uh. <laughs> so that... The other option would probably just go off. Don't say everything wrong. Connor knows what happened. Connor doesn't know what the fuck happened. I'm guessing. Alright, damn. I'm just happy I didn't like it. It didn't give me the choice at the end. Like, say he's here. Say he's not here. I don't know what I would have said, actually. All right, let's continue. Back to Kara. 
and Alice and Todd. Ugh. Kill him. Now's your chance. Don't wake him, Kara, you fucking idiot. Is that pipe? So have those? Serve the food. Oh, we're gonna make pasta? Ooh, that looks good. No meatballs? Care what the fuck is your problem? I'm Italian. You gotta have meatballs or sausage or something. All right, Todd. Yours is slightly poisoned. Kara, yours has extra cinnamon. No, that does. Extra pepper. That makes more sense. Turn the light on. Nailed it. Serve Alice and Todd. I just served them. Okay, napkin first. That's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And yet you have one. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. Alice first. Fuck you, Todd. I do. Go out and buy a fucking android. That's your problem. Joke. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here. Have fun consuming your human food. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. I know I am. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. I mean, you are pretty fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Secretly, I really want to kill you, Todd. But I'm gonna put a smile on my face. What are you looking at? Don't you fucking dare. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shit hole. That is, get a job, man. It's my fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Todd, back the fuck up. Fault. Get him. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. Tonight, you die. It's all her fault. I know it's her fault. Yeah, and that pasta looked good. I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. That's what she deserves. What an asshole. First, I need a little hit. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. I'm going to Alice. I'll bust you worse than last time. He did attack me. I'm breaking the wall. Alice needs me. She needs me. I'm coming, sweetheart. I'm coming, Alice. I'm free. I am alive. I have my own thoughts. <laughs> You're going down. I'm going to Alice. She needs me. If you come after her, I'm, I'm gonna shove my heart, shove my hand through your heart, Alice. <laughs> Alice, baby, are you safe? Lock the room. Oh god, it gives you time? Now we run.
Alice, we're gonna run. Up, up, come on. No, Carl, we'll fall. It's the only way. Hurry, come on. We're gonna be fine. It might be a little wet. Alice, she needs me. Get the fuck off, Todd. Suck it. Oh, I thought I was going to jump. Superhero landing. Oh. Oh, I didn't know I had to be careful. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm on the front of the bus. I'm breaking all the rules. Oh, Alice, I'm so sorry about that slide. I know how to go carefully. <sighs> we did it. We got our little baby girl. Oh, everything's coming for full circle. Kara's not a killer. She's a protector. I'm making that a rule right now. I'll have, like, Connor or Marcus kill him. Damn, that was fast. Yep, a, a lot of different options. We are free. Wow, this could have gone so much longer. You probably could have left Alice. What is this? Way out, seen in a new home. Yep. Yep, seeing that way out. That really helped. Uh, okay. I am going to... Or you know what, let's start the next part. Oh my god, look how far off this could have branched. There's only this mission and Connor's first mission that are like, actually like this. So okay, let's start the next one. And I'll pause it when I take control of Marcus, I'm guessing. That was by what about me? Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. I like Carl. Schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance Carl, for all Alice. Who admire your work to meet you. Connor doesn't really have anyone. Yeah, yeah, no one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Okay. Come on, let's oh. have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. And we will. Carl, I was going to call you Connor, in the next part. Oh, this game just keeps going. Can I see the flowchart from here? Oh, wow, you can. All right, so clearly this mission splits off into two options at the end. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Be sure to do whatever down below. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye. <laughs>